Let me show you the best user setting tips for your FortiGate and we start right now. To get more easy setup tips for your FortiGate firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So you have your users connected to one of the interfaces in your 48 and you want to set up different settings as authentication timeout and so on. So head over to the command line, config user settings. And the first command is set auto timeout. Let's move over between the different uh, options. And there you can choose different integers from one minute up to 24 hours. Now the default is five minutes. Personally, I prefer to set the timeout to 30 minutes. So choose whatever suits you as an administrator and your company's policy. The second command is quite important. Set auto timeout type. Now there are different types of authentication timeout. There's the idle timeout, the hard timeout, and the new session timeout. What is the difference? In an idle timeout, FortiGate has to see traffic that is coming from the user. If it doesn't see traffic coming from the user's IP address for the time we configured as the authentication timeout, well, it deletes the authentication entry and asks the user to authenticate again. Now, in a hard timeout, it doesn't matter if there is a traffic or not. After the authentication timeout passed, the user will be asked to authenticate again. That's a hard timeout. The last option, new session timeout. Well, that's the case where you have a timeout. Let's say it's five minutes. You head over to a site. You start to download a file. Now, after five minutes, the file download is not terminated. It still goes up and downloads to your computer. But if you head over to another site, that is, you create a new session, you will be asked to authenticate. Another option that every administrator needs to configure is the amount of failed attempts before the user is being blocked. That is the number of time a user can fail authentication until it is being blocked. Now, the default is currently 5. You can change it up to 100 times. I usually use 3 times. So that is set of invalid maximum, that is the maximum number of invalid login attempts, and let's set it to 3. Some of your user will probably head over through a captive portal, that is outsource employees and so on. So you can set the set auto portal timeout that is the amount of time that those employees will need to authenticate again uh, to an integer of between 1 up to 30 minutes.